So last week, the Xbox 360 servers for the Halo games officially shut down for good. It was a, it was, it was a sad day, even if you haven't played uh, Halo Online on the Xbox 360 in some time. It's kind of crazy to see them all like officially go down. Of course, you can now play you know, the newer versions online with the Master Chief Collection, which is great and all, but uh, still sad to see the, the original versions kind of go away. It reminded me of the day that uh, Final Fantasy XI lost its legacy console support. <laughs> I say legacy console support like there's a newer console it works on. No. All console support gone. Anyways, but yeah, watching all the videos of uh, players, you know, getting on the game one last time, you know, doing final matches, engaging in various like final days shenanigans, shooting up in the air, celebrating, telling old stories, just playing games. Uh, it got me to thinking to the inevitable Final Fantasy XI last days. Uh, which, you know, I'm going to open up right here. Aren't anytime soon from what we can see. 2022 is going to be the biggest year for Final Fantasy XI in, in a long time with the 20th anniversary and everything they've led up to with that. But, you know, it's always in the back of my mind. Just just, just wheeling its way through that. What would the last days of Final Fantasy XI be like? What would happen after that? And what happens to everything that we've accomplished over the years? Uh, anyways, let's talk about it. Guys, I realize it's kind of a weird topic going into 2022. I'm, I'm dead serious. Eleven has never looked so healthy in terms of its, you know, post-final expansion years. Uh, it's doing great. There's there's a ton of attention. Uh, articles are coming out about Final Fantasy XI success all the time. The new things coming out for it, which we never thought we'd get. And uh, they've, you know, been leading up to this 20th anniversary. The big things coming to Eleven this year. So this year is looking great for Eleven. I don't want to suggest that it's not. Uh, but I'm watching other things, you know, shut down around me. Uh, yeah, obviously the Xbox 360 Halo servers being the most recent one. And it just kind of made me start thinking, like, what is what does that look like for Final Fantasy XI? We've joked a couple of times, like, where's the last place you'd log out? And when it wasn't the end of Final Fantasy XI, the last day for me to log out, when I thought I'd quit for the final time, was uh, I took my Black Mage to the place that it logs you in in Port Winders, if you start in Winders. And I logged out right there. I was like, this is great. This is the dichotomy of like where I started is where it ends. It all comes full circle. <laughs> it, was, it was a little poetic. I was really proud of that. And then, of course, I logged back in like three years later. I was like, I guess we're not done. Uh, and, you know, continues on. But I, I've thought about this. Like, are there going to be events? Um, I, I watched kind of 14 1.0s death, if you can call it that, uh, from the sidelines. I wasn't subscribed at the time. I wasn't high enough level to, to really engage in what was going on with that. Because a lot of people were going to the Kortha zones and uh, watching the, the battle, taking part in the battle. I think there was like an event and you could see everything happening and then like, you know, just shut down. There was the, the cutscene that was the initial trailer for the end of uh, 1.0 and the introduction into Realm Report. I don't think Eleven would ever have that. That would be pretty cool if they did something like that. Um, I'll, I'll be curious to see if they do, if the 20th anniversary, I hadn't even thought of this, uh, is leading into like the inevitable shutdown. Not that they would suggest that that's anytime soon, but preparing preparing for like a story that could end with, well, the servers are done. Like you lost, <laughs> can you imagine if like the end of Van Deal was just like, you lost, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> nice try, that would be bizarre. But yeah, like I don't know where I would spend my time when I join like big groups in certain zones that like a lot of people are gathering when I go to the starting zones when I go back to where I entered the game like I did the first time when I go to some of my favorite spots like in uh, you know Lufay's Meadows or or I don't know Roland Berry Fields like where where am I going where am I watching watching the end of the servers um, and I'm not sure but I think what also is always on my mind and it's why I take screenshots constantly is that like once it's gone and someday inevitably because of the nature of all things <laughs> 11 will be gone and we'll no longer be able to log in again. This is the same way for single player games too. Like I've got old save games on cartridges that the battery's running down. Like there's going to be a day where I pop in my Pokemon yellow version and my save games just aren't there anymore. And that's, that's okay. That's sad, but that's, that's the nature of how that stuff works. But like 11, I don't know, I worked so many years for all this stuff. So I'm always like taking screenshots of like the gear and stuff, but there's certain stuff I'm going to forget stuff. And then I'm going to be one day trying to tell a story like, oh yeah, like the scorpion harness. And then I'm looking through my own screenshots and I can't find anything. 
and I go online, I search on Google, and I can't find the right screenshot of maybe like a tartar wearing it or one with my hair or wearing it with the gear. So like, I never know, like, what should I be saving? Should I be saving like different outfits from different eras of the game? Actually, that would be pretty good. Level, like show each level range of like my thief, my dragoon, of like what I was wearing when I was leveling it. That actually, I should go back and do that. That might be worth a worth a visit. But yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like even just like little things like the missions you accomplished, the quests, like the list will be gone. So yeah, you probably remember it. And if it's like you look up the list online, you're like, yeah, I, I did that. But like you can't go through your completed quest list anymore. That's just going to be a it's going to be a weird feeling. But but the biggest thing that scares me and it, it's going to sound kind of silly is the concept that like I can't in an official sense, and I know a lot of people are like, dude, private servers, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, we'll always have a way of, of like, you know, kind of hacking our way into Final Fantasy XI no matter what happens to it, uh, locally or in a community-based private server. Um, but it'll never be truly the same. My character that was on retail will officially not be there. But the biggest thing that, it, that worries me most of all is the zones, which sounds kind of silly, because like, you know, that is the one thing you could go back to if you hack to get their a version of your machine. But there's something about like the official zones running. <laughs> like I always feel like I'm literally stepping into like Roland Berry Fields or Western Surutaburta, like in Japan. It's sitting there on a box somewhere in like ice. And that's not really how it works. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we, we load the zones up locally and like the data of where we are in that zone, where other things are in that zone are, are kind of managed in Japan. But not all of it, but I, I, that's how I view it in my mind. I'm still always just like, this is sitting out there on a server. The whole, the whole zone itself is sitting in a server somewhere, and I'm kind of walking through it. And once that's gone, it's gone forever. So whether it's right or not, which it isn't, it's just kind of how I view it. And I, so I like take all these screenshots. But there's gonna be a day where I can't go to like a weird corner of a zone that I haven't thought of for a while and see what it looks like. I won't be able to do that. Like I'll, I, I can look through my own screenshots and what people have taken screenshots of online, but like. I won't be able to get to that point. And a lot of players, the players that really enjoyed Final Fantasy XIV 1.0 are already kind of experiencing this. It wasn't a perfect game. I don't even think the people that loved it thought so. But it's gone. And people are trying to create a private server version of it because like there's no way to experience the limited story that was available in that. And you know, it had some, some beautiful shots. I mean, it was a very pretty game. It was a little repetitive and they used a lot of copy paste, but it was it was a beautiful game. The issue was wasn't very optimized and couldn't run on anything, but it was it was very pretty. <laughs> Anyways, my point is, I, I feel like I'm turning into like a curm curmudgeoning old old man. Like I, I want to take pictures of everything so I can always look back and be like, don't worry, I've got shots of all of this. Like even just like weird things like this is what those rooms down in Feiyin look like. I probably don't have a screenshot of that anywhere, but I should. What happens if I can't get to it anymore? I don't know. Anyways, kind of a random topic, but it led me to this thought. Uh, we actually just hit, and it's been a while since we've had a, a big milestone like this. We hit 14,000 subscribers on YouTube. Guys, I just want to say, first of all, thank you so much for your continued support over the past, it's been like five years. Isn't that kind of crazy? You guys are nuts. What are you doing? Still following me in this stupid game. But seriously, I love you all. You're all amazing. Uh, thank you so much for the amazing support leading up to 14,000 subscribers. It is nice to see a, a big uptick like that again. It's gotten my, my YouTube juices flowing. I think we can... We can, we can do this, we can do more. But in light of that, we always try to do like a, a big thing. I think we missed 13,000. I think it happened during the pandemic and I was like, I feel, I feel nothing. <laughs> it was very hard for me to get motivated for like a big celebratory thing. Maybe I should have anyway. Um, but for 14,000, because in line with all this, like, you know, thinking about, you know, goodbye, goodbye Halo. I want you guys to send me all your uh, your best pictures, your best screenshots of this game, whether it be your favorite shot of a zone or, you know, your character and your best set of gear or even just like a leveling period where it wasn't the best your character ever would be. <laughs> it's not even close. Maybe you're in their 40s. You're just you had a great memory. Tell me the story. What goes along with it? I created a discord uh, channel a while back that I'll link in the description below. Um, you know, I should know the name of it here. Uh, she, under Share Your Adventures called Dan Adil. And no, it didn't really take off, and that's fine. I, I just left it out there for people to use as they would. But I would love to, if you guys feel like it, 
hop on the Discord, also link in the description below if you've never been there before. Share your screenshots. If you have a story to go along with it, share that as well. It can be five words, can be 30 words, can be paragraphs. I I want to start collecting this stuff because it's kind of important to me that like we don't just lose lose all this stuff. There's so many screenshots that I lost back on the PS2 hard drive when when the server shut down. Like I can't even get on the play online anymore. So it's kind of a little bit of a bummer. But guys, seriously, I uh, I can't thank you enough for all the support. I do want to someday. Maybe I'll do this on stream at some point. I want to go through all the zones and get like, if nothing else, a high res, totally modified reshade style shot of like my favorite points from every zone and like put it into this like collage that I could maybe, maybe I could hang it like right there. Uh, I think that'd be really cool, but it would take a lot of work. But I might, I might try to do that. But guys, thank you so much for the amazing support. 14,000 subscribers, that is huge. That's, that's really cool. Thank you so much. Uh, it's amazing to see you guys all still around after this this many years of Final Fantasy XI. I would have thought you guys were begging for me to start a different game at this point, but <laughs> you all love eleven as much as I do, which is crazy. You guys are the best. Uh, have an amazing weekend. Keep gaming. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. With the lower level still undergoing expansion, I just love that he looks up and he's like, it's a perfect representation of the sun, isn't it? I'm like, I guess at night. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Travel Ether does it a little bit better during the day. I mean, I'm glad, you know, it's unique that I'm experiencing this at night and that's part of the whole thing, but it is funny. This is clean your backpacks.